Corinthians chapter 10, uh, starting in verse 1, it says, Now I, Paul, myself beseech you by the meekness and gentleness of Christ, who in presence am base among you, but being absent am bold toward you. But I beseech you that I may not be bold when I am present with that confidence wherewith I think to be bold against some which think of us as we as if we walked according to the flesh. For though we walk in the flesh, that's me and you, saints, we do not war after the flesh. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, they're not fleshly, they're not worldly. They are mighty through Yahuwah to the pulling down of strongholds, casting down imaginations and every high thing that exalts itself above the knowledge of God, Yahuwah, bringing every thought captive into the obedience of Christ Jesus, having in a readiness to revenge our disobedience until our obedience is fulfilled. One of the first scriptures the Lord put on my heart and just... I uh, had to get a hold of and, and memorize it. Let me tell you what, saints. When you put it in your heart and hide it, there's going to be a time you ain't going to find a Bible. You're going to be a living, walking, breathing Bible. So guess what? You need to remember what's in here so you can actually speak it out of your mouth. Verse 6 says, And having in a readiness to revenge all disobedience, when your obedience is fulfilled. Saints, obey God. You want to fight the good fight of faith? Obey the Lord. Keep his commandments. Love people. Keep yourself spotless from the world. Do you look on things after the outward appearance? See, that's the problem, saints. We're always looking at the outward appearance. Uh, yesterday, we're talking about Ephesians chapter 3, verse 10. And uh, the word says very emphatically to the intent that now... Unto the principalities and powers and heavenly places might be known by the church. That's you and me, the ecclesia, the called out ones, the manifold wisdom of God. Saints, if we got the wisdom of the world, it's not going to work. We think we got a little bit of word in us and we know it all. We don't. I've been studying this stuff for tw over 20 years, and I, I really don't have a great handle on it yet. But I'm sure I know a lot more than other people. But guess what? My surety of knowing what I know more than someone else doesn't make me know more than anyone. Does that make sense today? It's not about your knowledge of the Word. It's not about your knowledge of the enemy or the tactics of the enemy. It's your knowledge of the true word who is Yeshua HaMashiach, Jesus the Messiah. If you don't have a relationship with the true living word that was made flesh and dwelling amongst us, it doesn't matter how much you think you know. I forgot more than I think I know. Think about that. The more I learn, the more I think I need to unlearn half of what I learned. So having said that, let's jump into this ascended master stuff the ascended masters of the new age movement they're defined as a new age movement of highly evolved beings that have progressed through all experiences that this planet can offer and they no longer need to incarnate in other words they don't no longer need to be born hmm that's one reason we're gonna kill all the babies hmm they don't need bodies anymore? What is wrong with people? I can tell you what's wrong with them. They lack in the word. Yeah, my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. And I'm, I'm talking about Christian folks now. Destroyed for lack of knowledge. Just, oh, brethren, who has bewitched you? Wake up. Read the word. The writers of the New Age movement state that the masters of wisdom already have evolved through the five inner experiences known as initiations. My word says that wisdom in Proverbs chapter 8 and 9 
we need to have wisdom if we want to have anything in this world. Wisdom and understanding of who God is, who Yahuwah is, who your creator is. But they're telling us that the masters of wisdom have already come and evolved. What? Yeah, okay. These so-called ascended masters in reality are the strong men, and they are named in the word of God. They are the ruling demonic order in the heavenly saints. These demonic forces can and should be attacked in the heavenlies and bound in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth with the blood of the Lamb against them by the ones that have been chosen by God to represent him and speak authority on this earth. And I'm not talking about some new age hoodoo voodoo. I'm talking about the word of God. Ephesians chapter 3 verse 10, 10 to the intent that now under the principalities and powers in heavenly places might be known by the church the manifold wisdom of God. That your faith should not stand in the wisdom of men, but in the power of Yahuwah. 1 Corinthians 2, 5 through 7. Read it for yourself, saints. Read it in context. Let the Lord give you the wisdom and the understanding. Saints, a guru is simply a spiritual teacher. They indicate, uh, that indicates no particular rank. People are going and learning from people uh, you know, you can learn something from me because I have studied it and know it. But if I don't say that Jesus Christ is God in the flesh, don't listen to nothing I say. If I can't sit here and tell you that the blood of the lamb is what washed me and made me clean as snow, as white as snow. If I can't tell you that Jesus Christ is my Lord and my Savior and the only true master that we have, the real master, not the fake master... Don't listen to me either. You shouldn't listen to anybody. Anyhow, you need to get in the Word for yourself and try the spirits. Because we're talking about spiritual wickedness in high places right now, saints. Just look at the government. Masters, gurus, they take a male body in their incarnation for energetic reasons. Yeah, come on, saints. There's no such thing as gender on a soul level. The first stage of the teaching, which reveals the existence of the masters to the West, came through Helen Bl um, Blavatsky. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. She was a co-founder co -founder of the Theosophical uh, Society. And that is Isis Unveiled. Oh, wow. Yeah. The secret doctrine. So, anytime you got these little secrets, guess what? The wisdom of God is revealed through the word of God. Men do not have any special secrets that they can uh, sit there and, and reveal to you. Uh, they'll reveal some secrets to you, but they're going to be demonic stuff. And then once they got their hook in you, they got you. Helen Blavatsky was the co-founder now. So you've got other people that have come in here since 1948. The teaching literally preceded the advent of the new age. And paved the way for it. Hmm, women. The second phase of the esoteric teachings was presented in Alice Bailey's books. She acted as the amanuensis for Master. Now listen, Master Joal Cool. As early as 1948, the imminent return of Christ was told. Excuse me. The word of God reads on this wise I'm pretty sure think about it if he died on the cross 2,000 years ago we got the knowledge and the understanding he's coming back we didn't need no new age guru to tell us that Jesus was coming uh, as early as 1948 but what they were saying was it's not the Jesus Christ of Nazareth the Lord of Lords and the King of Kings the Creator not that Jesus that's not what they were talking about they were talking about the false Jesus the fake Jesus, the new age Jesus. Come on, saints. After 1975, the Christ would be in the world. Oh, yeah. Not the Christ we're talking about. The women's movement is said to have been inspired by the hierarchy of the masters. 
the masters. All right, let's let's dive into the masters of wisdom or the strong men. You know, I'm when I do that, I'm it's like little quotation marks, hey, you know, it's not some kind of sign I'm giving anybody. The masters that we're talking about, that we're praying against today, the blood of Jesus is against every one of these masters that I'm speaking about today, the blood of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, the only true, perfect, holy sacrifice, the only one. We're talking about Master Jesus, okay? This tremendously powerful ruling spirit is the new age Christ, he is the strong man over many Christian churches and denominations. Folk don't want to hear that because we're safe. We think there's no way that that could happen. Well, saints, you need to wake up because it's happening. It's happening all around and folk don't even know it. This new age Jesus, this New Age Strongman Jesus. He operates you know, through demonic entities and will establish heaven on earth. Hmm, no, no. And using denominations, Christian called denominations. Now, when I say this, I'm not saying that every single person that says that they're in this particular denomination is demonic or that they don't know Jesus. That's not what we're talking about. We're talking about the false Jesus that's infiltrating. You're going to see a lot of it in the word faith movement, the manifest sons of God, the reconstruction, the reconstructionists and the dominion movement saints. The Bible does not tell us that we are supposed to take over and make the world a better place and make it so that Jesus can come back. He told his disciples when they were out on out and doing ministry, a couple of them come up and they're like, excuse me, they're over there casting out demons in your name. They're not with us. And Jesus said, oh, whoa, hold your horses, guys. Whoa, I'm paraphrasing now. I'm putting it in my own words, so don't quote me as misquoting the word of God. Think about it. Jesus told them, you don't know what spirit that you are of. We're not here to destroy people. If they're not against me, they're for me. Let them alone. I will take care of it when I get back. I think that Jesus can take care of this when he comes back. We cannot make the world a better place. We cannot fix mankind's problems. And we cannot have a dominion ruling authority without the king of kings and the lord of lords unless you want to talk about the new age ascended masters and strongmen because that's what it's going to saints we need to wake up and read the true word of god and not allow someone else to interpret it saints this is predominant in many christian organizations their corporations, their 501c3s, they're owned by corporations. There are many godly, loving, holy, spirit-filled believers that are being deceived. We got to wake up. When you're seeing these things, and you will see them more and more, it's unfolding. We're talking about these spiritual wickedness uh, in, in these different movements that say that we have to do all this. We don't need, what do we need Jesus for if we can do it ourselves? Hello? Yeah. We're going to make it right so that Jesus can come back. No, that's not what he told his disciples. He said, if they're not against me, they're for me. Leave them alone. I'll tend to it when I get back. He's coming and he's the only one that can fix this, but not this new age Jesus that they're speaking of and they're preaching of and they're allowing to infiltrate the true church. Be warned and beware. They will physically move people out of the way that don't follow their teachings and agree with them. They will ostracize you. They will ostracize anyone that comes against them with the word of God. They are denying the blood sacrifice of Jesus Christ. They are literally saying that Jesus 
was not God when he was born. Hello? Is it, do we even read this anymore, saints? All right, so I'm going to give you a list of these masters. Remember the quote marks? Masters, they're not masters. They're masters in people's minds. Our mind needs to get saved, saints. Our mind. That's where the enemy gets us. Master uh, DK, which is Zhuo Kul, also known as the Tibetan. This evil spirit is responsible for the enormous educational effort through the writings and teachings of Alice Bailey. Hmm. Wow. English master, this evil spirit reportedly resides in Britain and guides the Anglo-Saxon race and plans its future development. Look at what's going on in Great Britain right now. This English master sponsors the worldwide labor movement and is occupied with economic problems. Hmm. Yeah. Master Hilarion makes me want to laugh. <laughs> Saul of Tarsus, the apostle, was an earlier incan incarnation. Now, we're not talking about the, 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 the true one of the Bible. We're talking about counterfeits. That's what Satan does. He counterfeits stuff. This demonic entity energizes psychic research everywhere. He and his minions started the spiritualist movement. Come on, saints. Do your... Do your do your history. You know, look at some... Google it. Do your own research. Master K.H. Coot Humi. Yeah. He is the ruling spirit who will succeed the Lord Maitreya as the world teacher in the future. Oh, yay. He was involved in founding the Theosophical Movement. Come on, saints. These are demon entities we're talking about. Master Mor Moria, the ruling spirit, is one of the best known masters of wisdom. Now, we're talking about that. God's wisdom versus man's wisdom. This demon works closely with Master K.H., which was Kut Humi, And he inspires, now listen, inspires statesmen and works to carry out racial evolution. Hmm. Does any of this sound familiar on, as to what's going on today? We just do our studies and we wouldn't be destroyed for lack of knowledge. Master R. Rakoxi. This ruling spirit works largely through, largely through esoteric rituals and ceremonies and carries out the plans of the Executive Council of the Lodge. Hmm, what lodge are we talking about? Maybe the Freemasons? Yeah, all the Freemasons do such good work in the Shriners. Yeah, you got to be a 33rd degree Mason um, in order to be a Shriner. So at that point, you know you're worshiping Lucifer. Wake up, saints. The ruling spirit over the Council of the Lodge. Hmm. Master P. This demon works under the Master R in North America. That's where you and I live. Mm-hmm and is connected with such esoteric mental sciences as New Thought and Christian Science. Okay, so may maybe you haven't heard of any of this. So, I'm telling you. Share the video. Maybe somebody else can find out. Master Serapis. This powerful demon is the energizing force behind the great arts movement of the world. The evolution of music. Hmm painting, drama. At present, he works with the diva, or another word for a demon, or angel evolution. Yeah, all the angel stuff that you hear about in the worship of angels, and it's all infiltrated the church. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's where it's coming from. Until their agency makes possible great revelations in the world of music and painting, which lie immediately ahead. We're seeing it right now, saints. So we're talking about ascended masters of the New Age movement, masters of wisdom, strongmen. The Word of God is very emphatic. It says, cast out demons. Don't talk to them. 
Do not counsel them. Do not coddle them. If you have any power in you, 